and on and on and on. There is not a single word that is repulsive in the Quran where it's been said about Jesus that somebody would take exception. And in the Quran, we have a special chapter dedicated Elizabeth, John the Baptist, Zechariah, and on and on and on and on. If you could read this, subhanAllah, there was a time that I, I was giving a lecture in the University of Tennessee, and it's sort of like this kind of topic. So I write, I took off the chapter of Mary, Surah Al Maryam, Quran chapter 19. I took about 35 verses. I wrote it down and I handed it over to one of the people that came there because he was, he wanted to know some more. I asked him to read this in public and he read it. So when he finished, I asked him, where do you think this verse came from? And he looked at the verse, he didn't say the Quran, I just write it together. I didn't show that this is Quran, I, I just write them down. So he read it and he's like, hmm, this could be, he said, well, he's a Catholic, but this could be from maybe Mormons or Anglicans or, you know, the Quakers. He said he believed this is about Mary or maybe some part of an apocrypha, you know, book about Mary. I said, which religion do you think? He said, it could be one of these religions, you know, maybe... A Catholic, maybe Jehovah Witness. I said, this is, this is from the Quran. From the Quran? And he was shocked. Because all along he is thinking that the Quran is the enemy. So he said, no, Quran is not the enemy. We name ourselves Jesus, Isa to commemorate Isa and Mary to commemorate Mary. So we have a chapter in the Quran dedicated to the family of Jesus. And then we have another chapter in the Quran dedicated for Mary, Surah Al-Maryam, beautiful. There is not a single, any time I read this chapter 19 of the Quran, you know, tears start flowing in my eye. The beautiful things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to Muhammad. That Mary was the only woman chosen. God also said, O Mary, God have chosen thee and purified thee, chosen thee above the women of all nations. Could this be from a man who from an opposition? That the Quran was first written down as Muhammad revealed in Arabic and the first audience were Arabs and you know how the Arabs and the Jewish are having it but could that happen that a man Muhammad first of all he's giving this revelation to his own people telling them that this Jewess not his mother not his daughter not his wife the Jewess Mary was the woman above all women of all nations. Muhammad have to say what Allah asked him to say. No, this is not the word of Muhammad. He was asked by God Almighty to say what came to him. If I write a book and you, I'm not going to, to me, my wife or my mother is the best of women of, of, of all nations. We see that all the time. Some people write a book dedicated to my wife whom I love without her, I, beautiful word about your mother. <laughs> Would do that so why would Muhammad write a book and he said Mary is the woman of all nations so we said this is the handiwork of divine revelation about Mary and Jesus we have in the Quran the immaculate conception of Jesus Christ I'm going to have to read it with you I have to read this word so beautiful we found this in the Quran chapter 3 verse 35 to 54. It reads, God Almighty said, and remember when the angels say, Oh Mary, Lo, Allah have chosen you and have purified you and has preferred you and made you the woman above the women of all creation. Oh Mary, be obedient to thy Lord, prostrate yourself and bow down with those who bow down in worship. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stopped right there. And he's telling, look at what Allah said after he gave us this enunciation. He said, this is of the tidings of the things unseen which he will reveal to you, O Muhammad. Because how could Muhammad have known that this is what happened to Mary? The Arabic Bible was written 10 years after Muhammad died. The Arabic Bible was written 10 years after Muhammad died, according to Gibbons, a historian, and Kenyon, according to Ellen G. White, 
in her essays she made mention about the fact that the Arabic Bible was actually written 10 years after Muhammad left the earth so and Muhammad is unlettered unlettered in other words he is unlettered he's never gone to school never at all unlettered that is his epitaphs many orientals have written so many books about Muhammad being unlettered and the Arab historians the Arabs who are very good in tracing back their genealogy have written so many books and essays about the fact that Muhammad is actually unlettered the whole world will know that Muhammad is unlettered that's what Allah said this is some of the tidings of the things unseen which we reveal to thee O Muhammad and the verse continue you were not there O Muhammad when they cast their pens when they cast the lots as to who which of them should be the guiders of Mary nor were you there when they disputed the point what is about all this thing you know when Mary became young and beautiful her mother actually she prayed to God Almighty to give her a son and she will take this son to the sanctuary the synagogue to be a helper this is how devout the mother of Jesus was Hannah so she prayed to God to give her a son and God gave her a female and in no way a woman will be you know more active in in the synagogue than the male but she already made the vow so she took Mary into the synagogue and in the synagogue we have scribes and Pharisees and learned men and prophets and talking about the Torah they were there so she had to be she servicing the temple so when they saw her each and every one of them want to be word choice of word and he Jesus will teach and God Almighty will teach him the scriptures and wisdom and the Torah and the gospel and he will make him a messenger unto the children of Israel he will make him a messenger unto the children of Israel so when we say this we have to venture to explain what do we mean by the Lord Lord will make him a messenger into Israel this is the Quran chapter 3 verse 35 Quran chapter 3 verse 35 and so in confirmation of this word that he will be a messenger he will be a prophet he will be taught wisdom the Torah and on Allah will give him wisdom the ability to discern so many things metaphysical things that people around him cannot understand he will do so many miracles but by the Spirit of God Almighty by the Spirit of God Almighty and we find the confirmation of this also we find the confirmation in Matthew chapter 10 verse 5 when Jesus said when he sent his disciple into the mission of healing and preaching he said go ye not into any way of the Gentiles nor any city of the Samaritans enter ye not but go ye rather unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel so we you see the Gentiles are the, 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 the non-Jew Jesus said go ye not into any way of the Gentiles if you know the Gentiles pass this way don't even go near there in case they might ask you where you're going and you're going to give them the spirit the message don't go there go ye not into any way of the Gentiles nor any city of the Samaritans enter ye not but go ye rather emphasis but go ye rather unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel for I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel that's what Allah said and I will make him a messenger unto the children of Israel and so who are the who are the Samaritans the Samaritans are half baked Jew the Samaritans if your father is if your father is non-jew is, is a Jew and your mother is not you are half Jew Jesus said don't go to them the Samaritans they are half Jewish half Jew could be Amalekites Moabites you know the Canaanites but part of their family one of them is, is Jew and the other one is not these are half big Jew go ye go ye not unto them also but unto the Lord's sheep of the house of Israel أَفَمَنْ شَرَحَ اللَّهُ صَدْرَهُ لِلْإِسْلَامِ فَهُوَ عَلَى نُورٍ مِّنْ رَبِّهِ فَوَيْلٌ لِلْقَاسِيَةِ قُلُوبُهُمْ 